Fan the man at the moment, Joel Edgerton. Now, your movie, Boy Rays, has touched so many people already. I think that it's a film that had to be told. And a lot of time when we watch films about oppression or things that make us a little bit upset, we're looking so far in the past. But it's amazing to think that the issues in this film are so prevalent today as well. Well, look, even today, I was, I, I've been down the coast camping for the last two days, uh, which is where I got, I got a little black eye. I, I wish I had a better story as to why. Okay, we'll make up one by the end of the carpet. I, ra I ran into part of my camper van. Um, uh, but I, I ran into a guy in a cafe who, who was out... I um, uh, just seen the movie in Shoalhaven, and the movie meant a lot to him. And I'm getting a lot of people come and reflect how important the movie is to them. And it, it's not lost on me what a chance we have to have a, an effect on and a potential change in people's lives, young and old. Uh, and it means a lot to me. So I'm, you know, travelling around trying to get the movie out there and talk to as many people about it as possible. You speak of that change, it's still legal to have these sort of, I guess, conventions in 36 states in the US as well as there's a few here in Australia. It really yeah. rocks you to think in 2018 that this, this is a thing. It's very much a thing. And I personally think it really needs to be stopped. It's a real sham. And thank you so much for shedding light to it as well. Now, what does GQ mean to you? Of course, tonight's about GQ Man of the Year. What does a GQ Man of the Year have to possess in your eyes? Well, the last time I was at a GQ event, I was so impressed by all the people that are actually out there doing stuff for the universe. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're, I'm an actor, essentially, and a director. Now, lately, I've been doing things that can affect change, but, you know, entertainment adds value to the universe but I'm really impressed by pioneers, scientists, um, medical practitioners, philanthropists who are out there like actually creating change in, in the community and I know as a magazine um, you know magazines are out there to promote fashion and all sorts of stuff which is great but it's great that GQ also acknowledges the work of people who are out there affecting change for other human beings because I think that's really important at the moment. Certainly what you've done with your last film. Thank you for being here. We hope you can celebrate a little bit tonight and hopefully just make up a better story about the black eye. I'm sure you've got that in you. Yeah, 14 <laughs> guys attacked me at Bombo Beach. It was terrible.